Hi, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and I am in New Mexico, just outside of Albuquerque. And, uh, you know, we know we don't look good with hats, so you've got to wear hats in this kind of climate. But today I'm at Irwin Farms with Mark Irwin, the legend himself. And uh, I'm in here in this wonderful little greenhouse. <laughs> that he's building and uh, I just just really wanted to show you this really really cool system and Mark Mark's got a great way of explaining it. Well basically this is a wallapini greenhouse and uh, they don't freeze in the winter that's the big thing. Right now it doesn't doesn't make a lot of difference but our growing season here is very short and uh, because of the, of the pit and the heat from the earth this greenhouse when it's covered will never freeze in the winter. All these plants around here were in the greenhouse all winter and they kept they didn't keep growing, but they just kind of stopped and sat there when it got real cold, but they didn't turn brown or anything. They just, and when weather turned nice in February, they psh, took off as so, if it were spring. So Mark, are these plants the ones, so I was going to ask you about during the summer, uh, getting enough sunlight, or you take them and it gets too hot. Do you take these ones you taken out just so they'd be a little cooler? Is that what you're yes, doing? That? Yes. These plants here were so large, I, don't, I, I haven't taken them out, but look how large they get in the pit. The conditions are really better in the pit. But uh, these plants out here are all for transplanting out on the, in other areas. Basically, I start my plants in here. And by growing all through the winter, they get this tremendous head start. Awesome. In fact, in February, they think it's spring and they do their, they, they all grow a foot or two. And I hear you're selling some tomatoes even in December to the Albuquerque market? I will be having tomatoes year round. I have another greenhouse uh, that, that will do most of it, but in the in the intense winter months i'll grow them in the pits but they will grow since they don't freeze we can grow almost anything in the pit now your clay here is or i'm sorry your clay your soil or lack of is mostly a clay and then caliche base how did you dig this out what kind of equipment did this take well, you didn't used, do this with a pickaxe and a shovel right I used a backhoe you know this soil here is uh it's 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 pretty much caliche it doesn't grow anything compacts well this is almost a vertical wall it's been here for three years. It's been exposed a lot of the time like now, and yet it doesn't crumble, okay? This is the kind of dirt you want to build a, a, a wall of peony on. So, uh, it, because this, you know, the best, and small, keep it small. And uh, the traditional wall of peony is uh, with n just, just with uh, sticks across the pit in the basic form. But in the, um, South America, the Indians did them because they just, you know, the climate's horrible there worse than here even. It's a two-month growing season. Could, could you tell us what the dimensions of this is? It's about... This one here is only about 6 by 14. And it's, this is really the prototype. Uh, it works so well, I use it. Uh, we've got, uh, over here we're growing uh, these plants. They never, they never stop growing all winter. Okay, this is Swiss chard. <laughs> now it's kind of warm, so we're, we're growing seed. We'll have seed for next crop. Nice. Is there any advice you'd give to somebody who is going to want to build these or some re uh, references or recommendations or uh, places? There to are some, is there some information on the web? Look under Wallapini. And there, they, there's some church groups that do this in Utah and they do grow food in them. Oh, good. You know, maybe I'll contact them and see if we can get some stuff posted yeah, up for people be, then. Yeah, it yeah. would be more cutting edge because they're actually doing it and producing yeah. food. Yeah. But uh, as soon as I get my big pit going, it will be 100 by 28. It's a bit larger than the traditional pit. But I think that uh, according to all sources, the, the, uh, the properties will be a actually better than the small pit for year-round production. Wow. Well, this is just uh, just a really simple and effective solution. It's not kind of surprising that we're going back to indigenous peoples and their wisdom on how you they see did it. What, how they grow oh, in yeah. the pit. You know, these plants outside don't grow nearly as big. But look at these great, great big plants in the pit. Nice. Wonderful, wonderful. The plants do not get stressed in this environment. And they don't have any wind stress down here, right? So No wind stress. They don't have any kind of stresses. Wow. And it's wonderful. So, uh, well, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Hey, you're welcome. And uh, we'll, we'll have an update on Mark's big one next time I come through. About in a year thank or you. two. Goodbye. <laughs>